Hello there everyone, Serene Generation here and today we're going to talk about me living with ADHD and aphantasia and my experiences with that. So as some of you may or may not know, I'm awaiting testing for ADHD, however this process can take up to 3 years, however it is noticeable even to those with ADHD or those that have kids that also have it. I also have aphantasia at the same time, which means I can't visualise and although, although visualisation comes in spectrums, some can see fully, others can visualise partially, I'm in the percentile with absolutely nothing. If I close my eyes, there is just blankness there, however, my mind does function in a unique way and these are my experiences so childhood this is something I partially went over in my last video I will actually leave a title card here um, but my childhood was rough growing up in foster care I was not able to get the help I needed to not be, be on the waiting list now obviously because no one really cares about the care kids and as horrible as that is to say that is just the reality of the situation there are some things i did impulsively or to act out so when i asked why i did it i would not know this is because more often than not my body has already done the action before my brain has caught up this can make me feel sometimes in an automated state as if i'm stuck in my own body and i'm watching my life unfold and i'm just a passenger in my own body those that act like adhd is all butterflies and fairies either have it on the very low end of the spectrum or just do not have it don't be fooled by all tiktokers that are claiming this obviously i know that we've kind of figured that out well most people have figured that out by now but reality of the situation is most of them are just faking it I would figure out eventually that lying in order to have people hear what I thought that they wanted to hear was good and this may have played a big part as to why I wasn't successfully diagnosed as well. I did it in order to protect myself as I knew I'd get punished harder until I knew. In high school stuff was difficult for me, I think the teachers got fed up with me. I would blurt out random facts in class or I'd interrupt not to be a disruption but because I was interested in the topic or I had interesting facts that I thought other people wanted me to hear. In the hallways I would sing at the top of my voice not caring what people thought of me and this resulted in people asking me to sing in order to mock me. I was naive back then though. Um, I did deeply enjoy science and that is still a fascination of mine, you know, if I make it big, well, big, then I do want to go to, like, laboratories and learn all this stuff because it, it does interest me. I'd, I'd love to talk to physicists, you know, I'd love to talk to biologists all those sort of people i want to interview people and really really let people see who they are as people not just who they are as a celebrity or a you know famous person because each person has their own personality they're all unique and that's what makes us amazing human beings. That's what makes you guys amazing human beings. Me an amazing person. Everyone amazing people. Is the fact that we're all individuals. Just most people choose to follow a crowd instead. Instead of being their own person because they're scared. And you should never be scared to be yourself. Even like naive me in high school. We just 
จตุนคาอาออกเออบอ Obviously, I did want to do a career in science, but specifically marine biology. But all that stuff's far away, and it's、um, most of the stuff's in London, which is an expensive place to live, and I never had that support to live in places like that. I would often play with blue tack in class, like I'd make. Hundreds of little balls, and I put them together in different monster shapes, and have them fight each other. Like I'd throw little peat balls of blue tack at the other monster, and if it stuck, it'd take where the blue tack landed, and it would take that and put it on the monster until one remained victorious. Um, of course, these traits alienated me. Throughout my entire high school and even in college, which is why I was never able to fully complete college. That and my social anxiety, I don't like large crowds at all. I've only had people have fake kindness to me, but then laughing behind my back due to the fact that I'm different and I'm strange and I think differently. Um. I believe that in a defence mechanism, in order to make people feel about better about themselves, that's why they do that.、Um, hell, in college and high school, in topics I was bored with, I was ran- I would randomly do large numbers and such, and just do complicated math for no other reason than it was more interested than what was being discussed because they already knew it.、Um, My attention span was just got awful, obviously. And now I'm doing art, ironically enough, which is funny. I, it, me writing this didn't think know that me now would have be doing art. That's for sure. If things had been different, maybe I could have been spared the trouble in concentration and attention span. But who the hell knows? Part two, writing. Writing for me is an interesting process. I have an idea, and I don't need to pre-plan anything. The words flow out of me like water, even as I type type this. And no matter what I write, it sort of as if it's an automated system that I just have to let do its thing. Say, for example, my choose your own adventure story that's behind me. Hey there, Fenir. It's going well, thank you.、Um, right now, I'm just saying, I'm going to do all my favorite things about ADHD because it's an interesting combination. My brain functions in such a unique way. Like one day, not even joking here, I do want to stand. Please, if there's something you can do, stand right here. You're there, just stand right here. I'm glad to do it because it needs to be done. My brain needs to be studied because <laughs> it's such a unique combination. And God knows what else is going on there. I'm not going to lie, I barely function myself knowing my own brain. Let alone anyone. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Also, this is probably the first time I've seen my face, my full face, because I decided about last week that you know what? I'm going to show you my face. This might be known as my functional human being because of his amazing screen over there. Um, then I'm going to show you my face. Well, you know, it's what it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to do it. Uh, so, t- choose your own adventure story that we're still yet to record. If one hour later, say for example, my choose your own adventure story, which is right behind me, right there, but still unrecorded. That's everything we still got to record. There's so much, and we're just not recording any of it because not a single person left a comment, except maybe Mike saying that they wanted more. <laughs> When people can leave comments saying that they want more, I will record it. <laughs> I guarantee it. Or、oh, one of my few that I started to write on Wattpad,、um, like the story of Ragnarok, which I might actually read through after I've read through this on stream. Unfortunately, you guys on YouTube won't be able to see that, but ha, you should be on my stream instead. <laughs> What are you doing sitting there on YouTube and not watching my stream? <laughs> I'm only kidding with you, obviously. <laughs> so, <laughs> it starts with a single idea. From a choose your own adventure story, it was that one village, which is the starting area that I have recorded. No, you you can pay right off. You can go away. No. 
I do not appreciate unsolicited spam in my PMs, in my Twitch, or in my private messages. Thank you very much. No. Bad vocalizer. You, you try to be vocal, and you didn't succeed. Ha. Suck it. <laughs> I'm really on one today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, uh, so yeah, it started out with the one starting area that I have recorded, and from there the ideas just ripple out. I can't imagine though it's either words or nothing until I write it. So um, basically, it caused me to even be surprised sometimes as I read it back, mainly due to how fluid it comes out. Um, so what I mean by it's either words or nothing to write, it's like when I visualise, I don't see images, I just know what it is like through words in my head, like not I see words, I just like my brain thinks of words and I, see what I mean by it's complicated when, um, when I say complete Blackout aphantasia is difficult to describe. Um, how it functions. Uh, now this would be a perfect career path for me. I've wanted to be a writer for quite some time after I realised marine biology wasn't an option. Except one single issue. I can't hide focus on writing. Thank god this content creation right for however long that lasts. You know, I've heard everything's going on a train wreck recently. I really wish I did this 10 years ago. But I don't even think I had the internet 10 years ago, so... There's that. I did actually... Actually, fun fact... To the 23 subscribers that I have... They witnessed things if they ever watched my videos. They witnessed things on my... YouTube that have long since been deleted because they are pure and utter embarrassment and I, 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 I don't have the recordings. They are gone forever or possibly a way back machine hasn't. That's always a possibility. But yeah, I'm talking at one point there was a video I did on my phone where I was shirtless and I did three ninja rolls in a cow. <sighs> yeah, that's what I mean by pure and utter cringe and why they can never see the light of day. <laughs> Unfortunately the Wayback Machine has them. Um, People can see that, so enjoy to all you way back people, mish <laughs> peoples. <laughs> enjoy that on my YouTube channel. There was also the few live streams I did of Minecraft, and then I deleted all that when I started fresh. So yeah, I made like I never made enough money to. Um, I never made enough money to actually wish to have anything but back when YouTube had that system I made like 20 odd P or 60 odd P I think maybe 30 odd P somewhere between 20 and 60 I'm not sure entirely so I did make the tiniest bit of money from my content I just never made it made it and I'm, it's probably long gone now I don't even know if Google AdSense exists anymore i'm not sure how that system works i'm sure i will find out eventually so this means that although i tell myself i'll write today or get in my head i'll write my brain decides nah you're good thanks however strangely enough writing these scripts i am able to do and i think that's because i deeply enjoy content creation um it's a good passion of mine. Um, 
as I've discovered that may be due to antidepressants, but who knows, but here I am script writing. There, there could be multiple reasons why um, I discovered that I'm able to do this so easily. If you have aphantasia or don't believe you can be creative, there are many famous people who are actually creative despite this law. Um, if I remember correctly, the creator of Pixar is actually had aphantasia and you know, creative pricks are made of all those beautiful animations so definitely doesn't hinder it at whatsoever it just functions differently to others and speaking of functioning different it's time to roll on to a different topic here which is also a fun one meditation so part three meditation now meditation to me is very interesting i spent a lot of my childhood believing that visualization was just metaphorical actually it was a video who was it now it was um maybe a tozy maybe a tozy one of the community channels in that area has aphantasia and it was through his video that i discovered that that's what that even meant it would have been much easier to understand back then why i could not do meditation as effectively if i knew what i had still it didn't stop me meditating typically the style of meditation is counting my breaths or just listen to the words that the meditation things saying because I quite like guided meditation and although as a child I did have one or two interesting experiences as an adult I do seem to lack those capabilities now I remember one time when I was meditating back in the care room and the light of my above my head started forming some images it was a few images but that changed rapidly but one specific one that i remember is actually a lion roaring sort of like that famous filmmaker logo you know <laughs> wow i remember this other time where my eyes were closed but it felt as if my body was rocking violently like, I could still feel my hands against my bed, so I knew that I wasn't actually moving, but it was still scary regardless. Now, however, most of the time I end up falling asleep, or my brain just completely shuts off and I completely zone out, like... It's like a light switch, Some I, I lose track of time sometimes, and then regain consciousness, and it's like, what? <sighs> but I'm not actually asleep at the same time. Um, sometimes when deep in meditation, it's essentially as if I have a memory that did not happen in my head. Now, describing memories is complicated. I know what happened in a memory, but I don't see the memory. And this functions in that similar sort of way. It's like words randomly flowing into my brain from another source in such a way as though I have remembered something. An entire situation that has never happened. I guess another way to try and describe it would be as if I had a dream with no image. When I do dream, I'm able to fully dream like a non-person, but it's very rare that I do actually remember my dream. But in this state of meditation, there's no image just what happened it's very complicated to try and describe it but i hope that i got my message across in that aspect now part four memories see what i did there good segue memories are complicated with aphantasia i don't have an image to go with what happened i just know what happened in a memory 
uh, this posts an interesting situation. It means in case of trauma, most of my natural reactions are subconscious. For example, when somebody I'm not comfortable with hugs me, my body tenses up instinctively. It's as if it happens by itself and even though I'm aware of it, I can't stop it happening. It also means that in cases such as loss, like, um, you know, a bit ago, my landlord's cat unfortunately passed away. I'm not sure if you guys on YouTube know that. Um, it, I, I can't get attached to memories emotionally. Um, so I can get over people easily and that can make me seem heartless but in reality I'm just you know I'm, I'm just able to get over things easily because I don't have any memory attached or any emotion attached to that memory um, the truth is, aphantasia causes a special situation where it's not bad and this is that situation. Due to not being able to visualise memories, we also can't really tie emotions to these memories. When someone is gone, that literally is the last time we can ever see them. So though it does hurt all we are to overcome the pain of never seeing them again with the added pain of having these emo full emotions to memories typical people happen to have so we don't feel that pain unfortunately but or fortunately depending on how you see it part five method of coping now coping is different with a lot of people i'm not gonna sit here and act like i have all the answers even now 23 years on i'm still struggling with the complications that come with adhd and aphantasia and possibly more i'm not even sure but also things have helped me so they may also provide some use to you as well First off, music. Music helps massively. I'm unsure as to why this is. Possibly a joint effect of having both an active mind that constantly wants to do something. And I think Tati causing my mind to only contain words. Silence is quite literally different, deafening to me. At the same time, too much noise is overwhelming. It doesn't have to be music it can be a particular video it can be any video particularly when i'm feeling very bored with the task i'm doing i will have an informational video as it gives me something interesting to ground myself to if i need energy and music all the way my body moves an instinct to music and gets me in the groove of things hugely Say I'm writing, it's either Netflix or music to get me in the vibe. Something I don't have to actively focus on, but at the same time poses as a way to filter out the mind chatter a little bit. Finally, when I'm in an incredibly uncomfortable situation, usually when I'm in crowds or in a situation I'm unable to escape from, from whatever reason, my body on instinct does a very subtle action for me it's tapping my leg repeatedly you'll notice again to, it's to ground myself although not diagnosed i found that grounding myself helps massively after a short while i can grant myself time to do slow deep breaths to 10 and then continue what i'm doing some people this action is more noticeable than others but grounding yourself is important for concentration hence why we have to fidget toys have fidget toys although my last point will cover why that's not viable for me part six money management i've saved the worst for last money management 
this is without the doubt the worst that to de thing to deal with and it doesn't ever seem to stop it destroys your mental health and constantly leaves you feeling pathetic and helpless as though your money constantly disappears due to your own impulsivity from reckless purchase to stupid ideas you left feeling broke so often as an adult this is worse i have to ensure i pay everything straight away before my impulsivity takes hold or else i'm a little screwed now if you're struggling for food and a single person that eats for one i did actually make a compromise with adhd i get my food for the month on payday as opposed to waiting till i have no money to worry about it this involves looking for great deals such as 72 nuggets for £6.50 and such noodles are also a great value price as long as you go cheap which still tastes exactly the same at the end of the day pasta is another great value meal get some nice sauces like pepperoni tomato pasta bake or tuna melt pasta and you've got a great filling meal you may not be able to afford snacks as such later on in the month but at least you'll be able to eat just remember to keep an eye out for good values and also try to avoid branded stuff in less specific product products such as sausage and beans obviously the branded cheap stuff like cornflakes is exactly the same as the cornflakes in the branded cornflakes you are literally paying for the packaging and nothing more frozen stuff pasta it's all the same product you'll just be throwing away a fancy boss and you will have to throw it, that away anyway so why pay more when you can eat cheaper be smart not dumb and hey, we all struggle with this issue, so try not to see it as a downside. See it as a positive that you can enjoy your life. Like, others will struggle saving for retirement. And to be blunt, you might not survive till retirement. So, and even if you do survive till retirement, they are constantly raising the retirement age. You will be shitting in a bag by the time you're able to enjoy your money. You will literally be using a catheter. How the fuck are you going to be enjoying retirement then? So enjoy your money now. Because God knows life is limited. Um... Especially if you're spending all your time doing manual labour in that process. Part 7. Outro. So that is that. Some of my experiences with one common disorder and one not so common one. If you have ADHD, ADHD or think you have, get tested as early as you can if possible obviously sometimes it might be difficult but try that's all you can really do and if you have adhd you're special and unique your brain functions in a ha way that's so hard to describe but for those who have it without it they just can't comprehend it and just as we can't comprehend what it's like to visualize Thank you for listening to my TED talk. If you're interested in more videos like this, comment below. Like or dislike, well, you don't need me to explain that. And subscribe if you want more from me. Thank you for joining. This has been me, Serene Generation, and I am out, yo. Peace.